Now we will look at the skeptical Bible. Are Christians supposed to blindly follow the Bible, or are we supposed to be skeptical and critical, of what we hear and read? Were the early Christians and disciples skeptical? Or were they just gullible people believing everything they are told? Are we supposed to be gullible or skeptical? Here we will see examples of critical thinking being taught and practiced in the Bible. The simple believe anything, but the prudent give thought to their steps. Desire without knowledge is not good. How much more will hasty feet miss the way? Do not believe me unless I do the works of my father. Now, the Berean Jews were of more noble character than those in Thessalonica, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. But test them all. Hold on to what is good. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. As was his custom, Paul went into the synagogue, and on three Sabbath days, he reasoned with them from the scriptures, explaining and proving that the Messiah had to suffer and rise from the dead. This Jesus I am proclaiming to you is the Messiah, he said. Some of the Jews were persuaded and joined Paul and Silas, as did a large number of God-fearing Greeks and quite a few prominent women for he vigorously refuted his Jewish opponents in public debate, proving from the scriptures that Jesus was the Messiah. Then Jesus said to them, Why is it said that the Messiah is the son of David? David himself declares in the book of Psalms, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. David calls him Lord. How then can he be his son?